Okay, welcome to my uh, speech, my speed talk here today. I'm glad to be to to be a part of this uh, conference. Uh, my topic for this uh, speed talk is uh, how you can go from traditional HR to a more uh, agile way of working. Uh, but first, to, to set the context, I will give you a short brief about uh, Svenska Spel. Um, it is Sweden's most uh, well-known gaming company, uh, and our mandate is based on uh, protecting the customer. We deliver attractive games in responsible manners within a broad range of brands. Games should be accessible to all our clients, sorry, customers, uh, regardless of whether it's on the, the internet, uh, digital uh, channels, or in our online casinos, or also land-based casinos. And we also have this nationwide network of retailers. Uh, Svenska Spel's purpose is that gaming should be enjoy enjoyable to, to everybody. Uh, it's um, the surplus from the company. Uh, is paid directly to the public treasury. So that is our main purpose. Uh, we are a traditional company in many ways, uh, but we have a very strong digital growth. So this is the context that we were in a couple of years ago and still is on this journey. And I would like you to take you on this journey uh, and how we um, and try to describe what our HR team uh, has been doing this far to become more agile. Uh, everything has a starting point, and uh, I would say that for us it was the year, the year end of 2016. Uh, we knew that the gaming market was about to change in a couple of years with new regulations. Uh, Svenska Spel was about to, to um, act on a, on a market with a lot more of competition. That was new for us. Uh, we had to adapt to, to this different marketing. Um, so, 2017, that was th the year of shifting mindset. And um, so, how do you do? How do you change a traditional company with uh, a lot of processes, rules, regulations? You start with yourself. HR should lead this transformation. And um, for our HR team, it was uh, a starting point when new uh, team members came, came to us. And I would like to mention our uh, chief HR officer, Maria Furemu. She came in with, uh, with this um, and challenged our ways of thinking, our mindset. Uh, she inspired us to, to our ways of working. Uh, and, and when I say mindset, to go from controlling to empowering, for instance, uh, the way you, the view, you view the human being, um, focus on, uh, on, um, on value. I would say that was the big, th that was the starting point for us, to to speak about the mindset and how to um, what could we do to change this this controlling uh, kind of way of working. Uh, for me, I, I would say that the agile mindset was uh, a perfect match. It suits my values and my my way to view the the human the human mind. Um, so, one of the first things we changed was to skip the, the annual uh, survey, the, the employee survey. And um, it was very much a filling in answers exercise. You know, 80 questions and a lot of work for the managers and the teams afterwards. Not bringing much value into the organization. So, what did we do? We um, instead we started to use the digital tool, and uh, it was easy to to work with, easy for the teams themselves to work with, and we started to to ask um, a fewer questions 
more often. All about um, employee ag engagement, that was the topic of the questions. We had uh, a lot of inspire from um, the Gallops 12, if you, if you know about it. Uh, and, and in the beginning, uh, we, we, we put a lot of, the HR team put a lot of effort in, in going out into the teams, uh, inspiring them how to work with this tool uh, and, um, you know, work with continuous development here and now. It, it, this is the real time uh, measurements. Um, and also, uh, the teams can, can use this tool to send out questions themselves. So it's a way of, of continuous learning. Um, uh, another big thing that we changed uh, was the, the way we work with the, the, the por sorry, performance review talks. Um, uh, goals, always very important, but the process surrounding them or the templates are not as, uh, as crucial. So we wanted to inspire everybody to use their own model, really, and focus on the, the continuous feedback. That was the main uh, purpose of these talks. And to go from uh, this um, yearly thinking to a more agile way, you know, quarterly, or have this one-to-ones more, more often instead. That would be the, the main purpose of these talks. Uh, we still offer templates. We, we still have people who need them, so we have them. But if the team want to use some other model, then it's fine. Focus on feedback and recognition. That is what we want to, to inspire. Uh, the HR team uh, started working with uh, objectives and uh, key results. Uh, maybe someone talked about uh, this, uh, this uh, earlier this, uh, uh, during this day. I'm sorry about my English. It, it's kind of hard to, to speak English the, uh, you know, about the, your work when you, when you work in this Swedish company. It's a very Swedish svenska spel. So you have to have some, um, what you say? For those who can Svenska, have a little tålamod, some patience. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> uh, well, the HR team, we started with this OKRs, and, and we, we, um, we set goals uh, quarterly. And then we put uh, activities to, to, um, so we can reach the goal. And this has made us, um, we have the same focus all over and we, we do the right thing. Uh, you know, if we have, um, uh, well, if you have a topic that is, that is, is uh, surrounding the, the whole organization at the time, then we can focus on that and we do the right thing. It could be that we have, uh, maybe workshops about feedback, then the HR profession, we, we need to, to um, inspire the managers to work on that, and then all of us do that, and we speak about the same thing. So it, it, it creates a lot more value doing this, in the, it's this team way. And um, we, we set the goals for, for three months, and then we had weekly stand-ups and, and follow-up where we are going. Are we, are we heading in the right direction? Are we doing the acti activities that we, that we have uh, decided to do? And um, we started out with uh, one HR team, and now we have the whole group HR, Svenska Spel. So HR professionals are joining our team's meeting from the whole uh, country. It's Gothenburg, it's Malmö, it's uh, Gotland, the small island. So we have this uh, quick weekly. It's about 30 people and it works perfectly. And we all have the same focus and we all have the same energy. And we can also find out if anybody needs help. A and uh, we can uh, help each other. 
So it's a, it's a perfect way of working. We would like to the whole organization to adapt, adapt to this. We are working on it, but we are not there yet. So, 2018. Uh, we had these new gaming regulations that took place uh, the 1st of January 2019. So this year was very much um, about uh, transforming our company into three parts. So the group had to split up in three parts. So it was a massive work to be done. Uh, and um, it was the, the, the largest restructuring of the company for, for history. Um, we um, and also almost more. It was the biggest IT project ever. You can imagine all the work you have to be doing in the in the back back end to split the company, all the customer data and and so on. So it was a, a very big um, transformation. But for for HR, this was a possibility to to change the mindset uh, on how we work with change. We, um, we could work differently with the unions, uh, with the managers, and kind of um, set new rules. Uh, we, uh, we, um, I don't know the English word, Arbetsmiljöombud, working agents maybe, s safety, safety something, yes. Uh, we, we, um, we had them with us, and we, we had these uh, pop-up sessions all over in the company, that where employees could come and, and speak about the changes being done and directly come with the feedback. So it's a, it was a new way to work with this uh, organizational change. And uh, we, we also have this uh, lessons learned continuously, uh, gathering people in the organization and, and listening. How, how was it doing? Uh, did we miss something? Could we do something better? Uh, and I would say that this uh, this year and this uh, transformation uh, made the whole organization a bit bolder, and um, and it learned us to take action even though we didn't have all the answers. And that was one of the things we wanted to be happening. You know, we have to be we have to be a bit bolder. Um, so the journey continues, and um, in the end of the year of uh, 2018, we uh, started our own academy. Uh, and it, it, it's this uh, kind of uh, experimental way to, to work with uh, training and development. Uh, we want to, to inspire this continuous learning. So, so one, one thing we did was uh, to identify the, the needs uh, being um, told from, from the organization. It could be different, but it could be a lot, of, uh, a lot of teams spoke, for example, about uh, this um, change management. Could we learn a bit more about that? So then we, we, we had this uh, small workshops like um, maybe lunch learning, or you could call it, uh, where everybody could uh, attend. It was not only for the managers, because it was for everybody. Then we could follow up these uh, sessions with uh, more material, more deepening material for the managers to work onwards with the teams. So change management was uh, one of the topics. Uh, another one was, was uh, feedback, where everybody could... Um, train on that um, and it, it's also about mindset here uh, how, how do you learn and uh, I think I it is a bit challenging to, to um, some managers because they want to send their employees on a course off-site that's what they want some of them and we speak about learning on the job on the job training peer-to-peer you know, take a, a bigger responsibility to learn. So it's an ongoing work, and we are not... It's, it's ongoing, really. <laughs> uh, well, workshops, it's a, it's a good way of learning. And it's a good way to um, work cross-functional. 
you know, people meet from from uh, different apartments and, and they can uh, change their um, their uh, side their side of things. Um. Oh, sorry. Another way to to be more more agile, to to continue th the change you want to to do, is um, is to grab the opportunity when it comes to you. Uh, for ex for example, if you digitalize something, uh, change the routine uh, as well, and get rid of this process thinking. Um, surrounding it. It could be the way we work with uh, recruiting or it, uh, well, the way you work with training and development, as I d just mentioned. So every time you, you, you change something, grab the opportunity and work with it. Don't do this some big uh, hug, just to grab the, the opportunity. Uh, now it's uh, 2019, so what are we doing this year? Uh, we are focusing on, uh, on the culture and what we want to add more of, uh, like curiosity, collaboration and, and cross-functional work. Transparency is another key um, to, use, uh, to make information available to, to more, more people and also um, uh, use digital tools to increase efficiency. We are now implementing uh, Microsoft Office 365. It's a great way to, to work together in teams. And also simplify. I would say that is a key word for HR. Simplify. We get blind. Uh, we, we forget the user perspective. Um, if you look at the words used in systems uh, or in policies that we own, it can be very conservative. So you, you should sh look at those. I can show, give you one example here. This is in Swedish, but this is um, our leadership profile a year ago. It's a kind of massive, <laughs> uh, rather complex. Uh, and this is the new one. Uh, we had a meetup with all leaders in the beginning of September launching this, and it was this energy boost. They just loved it. And for you who don't speak Swedish here, it says that my leader is a role model, tells it like it is, inspires me and trusts me. So it's very, very nice. And, and everybody just, you know, got this energy and want to change and work with their, their leadership skills. Time is running up. Well, this lovely lady is uh, Gunvor. She is 96 years old and uh, she's an active table tennis player. Uh, Svenska Spel is uh, um, a sponsor of the, the Table Tennis Federation in Sweden and that is how we got to know this lady. Uh, she started playing at the age of 65 and she is still a curious person and eager to learn new things. She wants to win the game. For HR, this is an inspiring. I want us to be curious and I want us to try new things and, and start doing. Just do something different and then if it doesn't work, change it. Don't be afraid, just try it. Go out there and listen to what the needs are. For us, the, the most... Um, the biggest change is, is for us have been working with the OKRs because it, um, it leads us in the right direction at, uh, and what the, the company needs right now. And, um, and our mindset that uh, the people, that they, they want to contribu contribute and, and do smart things. Everybody wants that. So, well, I, I started this talk telling you about uh, the journey and we are still on it. Um, you are never finished. We will only be this happy if we, we keep on experimenting and trying new things and co-create an inspiring and purposeful organization. So thank you. Thank you for listening.